हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर कैट एंड यू आर वाचिंग देसी टीचर विदेश सो सो वेलकम टू दिस चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई हैव ब्रॉट द जॉब्स इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन फिनलैंड यस सो यू सो इफ यू हैव द एक्सपीरियंस और इफ यू हैव द क्वालिफिकेशन इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग और सिविल इंजीनियरिंग और रिलेटेड फील्ड यू मस्ट अप्लाई फॉर दिस जॉब्स ओके सो first job is about the renewable civil engineer this job is in fortum is the company is the big company and the location is aspo finland and deadline is 8th of january 2023 so next year in the beginning first week of the around first week is 8th of january but please remember if they will find the eligible and qualified candidates they will finish this recruitment as soon as possible so you don't need to wait until 8th of january you understand my point yes so what are the roles and responsibilities so basically you have to create civil engineering design and 3d modeling using autocad right so this is the basic requirement you must know this software right and you have to provide support in the design permitting construction of solar pv and wind power projects so you have to work on the wind power projects and solar pv so you have to do some site inspection or inspection work or supervision and you have to review and negotiate proposals from civil works related some contractors okay so the requirements are like first thing you must be interested or passionate about this renewable energy and clean energy transition and you must have a degree in the same field means the bachelor's or master's in civil in or construction engineering or similar if you have the bachelor's degree and if you have a lot of experience doesn't matter if you are have a master's degree or not and you have the core competence in understanding the wind and solar pv projects construction that's i already told you when i discussed about the roles and responsibilities and you should have the experience focused on utility scale wind and solar projects and uh, you should be willingness you should have the willingness to travel site because it is required that you have to visit some sites you have to do some inspection so you should be ready to visit yes and fluency in english is the compulsory requirement if you have some other language like finnish swedish or norwegian this will be valued it will be big plus but it is not at it is not an essential requirement you must understand this so don't need to worry about and you should have some competence in microsoft software or civil related software means this autocad i already told you you must you must know right so if you fulfill all these requirements definitely the, if you have the experience it will be big plus and if you do not have the experience still you should apply because you can make a cover letter like this because please remember doesn't matter in some jobs like they ask about the experience if you can show the your experience on based on the projects you did some innovative projects maybe right some research articles you did like so they know okay he has the good experience so and he knows how to write because you have to do some check them proposals as well in this job i already mentioned so don't worry about the experience please most of the jobs you don't get because you don't apply please get my point okay Yeah, if you have some doubts about how to apply or some the documents or how to create a CV, because please check my previous video how to create a CV, how to write an excellent cover letter. And if you have still some doubt, you can contact me anytime. Okay? Yes. So what you will get, like basically in this job, a good salary, modern research facilities, free occupational healthcare. Because in Finland, if you like, doesn't matter which job you are applying. If you are, you get a like job. If you have the like, for example, two years contract or full time job, so you will get all the benefits, right? Occupational healthcare. You will get the support benefits or services maybe from the company, and endless opportunities to develop in this company itself. So, so don't need to worry about like what you get and what facilities you get, like because in Finland, in the terms of the social security benefits number one in the world okay how to apply you have to because the link i already posted here but link is also in the description box of this video so you have to go to the description box as well and you can just need to click and then you can the application details will be opened and then you have to click on apply and you can fill up the online application so you have to have a good cv and the cover letter and salary expectation also you have to write so the deadline is 8th of january Yes, but please remember, I already mentioned that if like they will find the eligible people or good qualified candidate, they will not wait. 
okay until you apply so please apply as soon as possible don't need to wait and uh, if you have some like doubts or uh, some hesitation or some like uh, you want to know more about this position or right so you can just uh, can email to carlos okay and the email is here and do not forget to mention in the message subject res civil engineer okay understand so you have to mention this in the during the email okay so let's go through the other job or second job which is about the environmental engineer so this job is in company neste it's the also the big company and the location is porvo finland and the deadline is 30th of november right so this month by the end of this month you have to apply and so what are the roles and responsibility in this job so in this job you have to work closely with the different sites and operations teams to develop environmental projects and environmental practices right so if you have that like please remember that if you do not have the interest you do not have the qualification or do not have the study in the environmental science environmental related things please do not apply okay remember this you must know the what are the environmental permits and the requirements right ensuring the uh, compliance on site so different emission calculation and monitoring so environmental reporting and working with the stakeholders so it is a lot of things you have to do during this job and definitely you will learn by the experience because uh, doesn't matter how much experience you have doesn't matter how much knowledge you have doesn't matter how much qualified you are if you like work in the different company or other organization so definitely you have to learn in the during the first year so you have to go through understand the system and you will learn by the experience okay so what are the requirements so definitely you must have the background in environmental matters on industrial sites doesn't matter what qualification you have if you have the background or you work in some projects or internship whatever which can be related to this job you have to mention this in your cover letter understand so remember your cover letter should be directly related to the your requirements yes cv it cannot be like because you have to mention some other things but cover letter is the letter you are directly addressing to the hiring manager why should you take me only me you understand why me why not others Please remember this point and go through my previous videos about the cover letter. If you don't find, please ask me, but I will post here as well. Okay, you can check in the description box. Well, so educational backgrounds are related to the environmental engineering and more important than the educational background, your interest, which you will show like in the cover letter. Willingness to travel. So because uh, they have some like terminal where you have to work, right? Uh, that is called the Nantali terminal in Finland and you have should have the I know the agile working of way right agile basically is uh, like the software uh, methodology or software development they use the agile working of way agile working way yes but uh, here also if you, you should have the knowledge if you don't have you can you should have now right 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 now it's not like you have to learn a big big tools but agile is just a methodology it's just a way of working right it's a teamwork so agile way of working like instead of doing like the big things all together uh, just to divide those, that big thing into the smaller chunks so all of these chunks can be divided into the, can be assigned to the different people and all we are doing together so we can finish the task by the deadline instead of doing the big chunk at once and if you stuck then whole project will be messed up you understand my point that is the agile way of working well so we will do uh, learn later on more about agile because i am the scrum master so i can maybe teach you and can share my ideas or my views about the agile way of working later on at some point well so and you should have some like uh, good like relationship skill good communication skill good convincing skills right you should have if you have to work in this job because there's a some field job as well because it is it will be required well okay how to apply you have to apply online the link i already posted here but also you have to, i have posted in the description box of this video because you cannot click on the link from the photo right from the this image 
right what i posted here so you have to go through the after watching this video understand how to apply and then go to the description box click on the link and you will be directed to the application page where you have to fill up the application okay and at any point if you have some doubt and to prepare the documents please ask me anytime many people ask me and i always help nobody can say that i do not reply nobody can say like uh, i do not help nobody can say i do not like uh, uh, for example coordinate well right so i always help it doesn't matter who you are what is your nationality what is your religion like where are you from doesn't matter for me because i i understand all of you as just as a job seekers right that's it well so if you have any questions like regarding this job so you can contact directly to the johannes so basically don't tell johannes because it's not j in the pronunciation it is called yo so johannes so you can uh, just uh, call like he is the environmental manager so you can call him and you can also send email to him right so the best available time date it is already written here so you have to follow link is here link i already posted in the description box of this video so you have to go through and please apply for this job okay so another job is mechanical engineer research and development and the company is sartorius this is also the big company and the job is in finland basically mostly in helsinki finland and you have to apply as soon as possible because deadline is not mentioned so you have to apply as soon as possible so if you they get the eligible or qualified candidate that you will not wait right for you so what will be the roles and responsibilities so you will be developing mechanical and mechatronic solution in product development projects for laboratory instruments and consumer wheels and it consists of to develop new projects and maintaining the existing ones you know like if you have, there are some defects or bugs you have to fix or whatever and developing product development test and measurement system so after getting experience and so you could be it would be possible that you could be uh, get a position as a technical lead or project manager but definitely the job profile will be tailored or maybe can be discussed depending on your experience and uh, your knowledge okay so do not need to worry about the job profile first your target should be like to get this job right what about the requirements so you should have the experience in the mechanical engineering projects and uh, doesn't matter where if it will be in industry very good and if you work in the industrial projects as an intern this is also good yes and you worked maybe during your study in some projects research project that will be also uh, that will also be counted that will be counted as an experience so do not need to worry masters or bachelor's level degree you must have definitely if you will have the master's degree it will be far better if you have the bachelor's with some more experience that will be also good knowledge about the 3d cat system so they use creo creo something like that so they have the different software but if you have the cat system cat knowledge then it will be good well so experience in lab like medical instruments testing or project management or automation electronics or software skill this is the additional advantages if you have these extra points that's why i used to say always doesn't matter what job you are doing during your free time at least two hours in a week you should spend on yourself to develop yourself to like improve yourself because every time technology is changing right so for example if i'm working somewhere so it doesn't matter okay like i should try to develop myself it will be good not only for you it will be like if you're improving yourself it will be better for your organization as well yeah you understand my point how to apply I already told you as soon as uh, possible you have to apply and the link is here and link i will also provide in the description box of this video so this is all from the desi teacher and videsh yes so i have come after a long time because there will be some break or some like long break for me i also need some like break right so but uh, I will come up with the like new jobs, new PhD positions, new scholarship or master's, bachelor's in Europe, in Finland, right? In the coming videos, your job is to subscribe, share this channel and also do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you can be updated for the upcoming videos as well. So thank you very much and have a good day.